I want to take a couple minutes just to point out S rays because it's a classic. It's been around for what feels like forever. And um, it's just a very useful all around filter that you can combine with other ones to create really interesting looks, but on its own is also very nice. Um, here's what it looks like. It's a look that's uh, going to be very familiar to um, any of you who've watched TV or movies for any length of time, but um, it creates this nice raised look on your image. And um, while I won't go into too much detail about what you can do with it because it's pretty obvious, uh, you've got your on-screen controls here to change the raised length. Um, you can change the raised brightness and um, also threshold, much like glow and glint. A lot of these uh, settings are, are, are very similar between them. Um, I will say that if, you, uh, if you're going to start using it, one of the things that I like to do is, uh, just to create a, a, a realistic look, is to keyframe the center um, and uh, really, you know, keyframe these settings to give, uh, to, you know, give your picture a little bit more life. So, um, you know, for example, something that I might do is I'll set a keyframe here at the beginning and then maybe I'll try and move my rays along with uh, the subject in my frame. So by the time I get down here to the end, oh, maybe my rays are down at this side. And uh, so it sort of tracks along with you. Um, there is no there's no tracking in Avid, so I can't I can't track these parameters to anything in the picture. But um, you can certainly keyframe them. And um, another thing you might do is keyframe the rays length and rays brightness as it goes over the course of uh, over the course of your image as well. So I can go here and make that, and then maybe make it longer here, and then make it shorter here. Um, let's see if what that does. And if you want to feel, if you want to get inspired, again, I would say go up to your preset browser because the preset browser has a lot of the work already done for you. A lot of people, I mean, a lot of the uh, um, cool things that you can do with uh, the S Rays plugin um, are recreated here. So I can pick one and oh, this is an interesting look, and it doesn't necessarily look like something I've seen before. So that's really neat. I'll go in and I'll just tweak this to look the way that I want it to.